is June 1st. Um, I've been feeling a little daring lately and I've been saying I'm gonna cut my hair for the longest and like now I'm actually gonna do it by myself here at home in front of the camera and you guys are gonna like actually watch me like this is real life okay real life oh my gosh I can't this is real life it's just cranberry juice it's just cranberry juice don't don't bash me in the comments um it's 10 26 in the morning um yeah i'm just gonna give you guys a brief run through of what i'm gonna do this is gonna be a two-part video me giving the explanation of why I am going to cut my hair and then of course the second part is me actually cutting my hair. Throughout my other videos people have been in the comments saying you don't need to cut your hair. Your hair is perfectly fine. Your hair is healthy. I don't see the problem especially on the natural hair journey video. I have pictures to prove that my hair is damaged. Now it is healthy to a certain extent but when you go from being able to do a full-blown wash and go to parts of your hair literally like just limp like just have no curl pattern your hair is damaged okay so what I'm going to do is show you pictures and start from the beginning of eighth grade when I really started to experiment with my hair and just give you a run through of what has happened and how I'm at this point right now. Because I have literally taken 20 steps forward and took like 50 back with my hair, okay? That is the main purpose of this channel. I'm just trying to help others out there who are in my situation or similar to my situation, babying their hair back to health, okay? So right now, this is what I'm working with. But let's, let's just go back to eighth grade. Okay, so eighth grade is when I really started to experiment with my hair. This is when like all the real old YouTube heads, you know, knew about um, Natural Nisi, like that's my favorite. Um, who else? Mahogany Curls. Uh, just, just, there's a lot, okay? There's a lot, but the ones that are like veterans of the natural hair game that's on YouTube. So my thing was, I was on Tumblr at the time. I would always see like beautiful pictures of like this gorgeous natural hair and curls and everything I'm like oh my gosh like, I know my hair can do that because at the time I would just completely straighten my hair all the time like there was no uh you know sleek ponytail curly ponytail none of that like my hair was always pressed and for the most part my mom would do it but like up until sixth grade I did my hair all, all by myself so at the beginning of eighth grade is when I you know started realizing all the products that go into um just doing natural hair so i would go to target and i would buy like this jesse Shea moisture cream of nature like all that stuff and try to do braid outs and twist outs and you know some of them did come out nice some of them were failed it was more like a trial and error process because like whenever i would wash my hair i did have some sort of curl pattern because i had no chemical re relaxers not that like my hair was completely like unprocessed like I didn't even color my hair my hair was just my hair and I just knew that it was heat damaged because it would be more like a wavy pattern instead of my curl pattern so fast forward to like around ninth grade is when I really really started to experiment with my hair my hair at that point was almost towards my belly button like that was the longest my hair I had ever been and I really like to say that when I the summer of me going to ninth grade, I did no heat challenge, and I swear my hair just like flourished from that. I think that's where the link really came in right there. But um, ninth grade, I did a bunch of twist outs, braid outs, uh, flexi rod sets, all of that stuff. But I was scissor happy. Like I had enough hair to just just cut off and experiment so I mean that's what I did and I would watch a ton of videos of like for example one of the videos be where they put a ponytail on the top of their head and you know you just like push the band down to where you want to cut and it would make like layers so I would just chop that off 
that's gone. Um, and like the first time I ch chopped my hair off, I was chopping off like this much, like a lot of hair. And um, my mom wasn't too happy about that. Like she was always like, why are you doing this? You're jacking up your hair, your hair's gonna be uneven. But for the most part, I didn't really straighten my hair like that. So you really wouldn't even notice it because it's like camouflage. Like the only time you really be able to notice if my hair was jacked up is if I had it straight. So um, after that, I did it in various ways. Like I remember I wanted like some fringe layers in the front, so I would just sec section off the front of my hair and just you know cut a, di a diagonal like that, cut a diagonal like that. That's gone. Um, and then the way I'm going to actually do it again is where I just you know part two, two, two sections down the middle, and then um, take a ribbon and just do like a blunt cut and just cut that off. So around that time, I had to cut my hair to about this length. It was still somewhat long, but I mean, I was chopping up a lot of hair. And one thing I did start to notice is that my curl pattern was somewhat coming back because when you're cutting off like heat damage, your curls start to like, you know, kind of triple up, I guess. So that's that. Um, now fast forward to 10th grade, I started to experiment with uh, dyeing my hair. So I did take a box dye and it was like a little, I think it was L'Oreal at the time, L'Oreal ombre box dye. I took that, I didn't even like try to ombre my hair. It was more like a dip dye thing and it was brown at the bottom. Had that for like six months. Um, that color was actually like my marker of where I was gonna do my big chop. So wherever that color stopped is where I was gonna get my hair cut off. So I was just trying to say, Okay, I'm going to have color in my hair, but I know I'm going to cut it off later, so I don't really care if it damages my hair. I'm just going to enjoy this color for a little while, and that's exactly what I did. After six months, that's when I got my, like, official real big chop. Um, it was about this length. It was layered. Uh, all, of, all of the brown was cut out. So, it, that was the first time I ever had, like, this length hair. So at first I was, you know, excited and happy. I was more excited to go wash my hair literally after I just got it straight, but you know, you spent all that money at the salon. So I'm about to, you know, at least enjoy this straight hair for a while. That's exactly what I did. But I was a little devastated because like, if you have long hair for a while and then you cut your hair short like that and it makes you sound like you can glue it back on. So I was like in shock. Especially after I washed it because I was not expecting the shrinkage to be that bad. Like <laughs> when I washed it, I like I actually cried because when it was wet, it, it appears like it's gonna be that length. But when it dries, oh my gosh, like it was like at my chin. So whenever I did twist out and wash and goes, of course the shrinkage was like up there. I cried for like the first two weeks or, or whatever, and it was just you know hard <laughs> but I think that's the best thing that ever happened to me because that for sure indicated that my hair was like on the correct path of health and like you could tell that my curl pattern was different from, from when I didn't get the big chunks so I was excited after that because once you stop uh, worrying about the length of your hair I swear that's when it starts growing like out of nowhere my hair is just flourishing like it was growing like really quick so after like about five months from this length, I was already almost back to, to this length. So, I mean, my hair, I think my hair kind of just grows less naturally, but I'm telling you, once you just keep a constant routine and just, you know, deep condition, do all that stuff, like your hair is just gonna flourish. So, um, after that, you still could tell that there was a little bit of damage in the front of my hair because like in middle school, I had like, bangs like this, a side bang, all that stuff. And then, you know, you're putting constant heat on that area of your hair. So the front has always been like the most damaged area of my hair. So, I mean, at least it has somewhat of a curl pattern to the point where it would match, where I didn't really have to wand curl it, which would put on more damage anyway, but, or even do a flexi rise, you know, in the front. I never had to do any of that. It kind of almost camouflaged in with the rest of my hair. So that was good. But um, then I got a little color happy again. Now, one thing that I will say is when I was on Tumblr in this app called We Hearted, it would give me a lot of inspiration as to how I would want my hair cut or 
colored and I knew that I wanted ombre or some sort of like balayage highlights or something like that because whenever it's on your curls, it gives your curls like a pop. So I did that and that's where this journey begins because when I did that, it literally destroyed my <laughs> hair. Um, the curls were completely fried. Like I have a video like at the very, very, very beginning of this channel. You can go watch that where it's like, but hair nightmare, bleach horror story, something like that. Like that's literally how I came to this spot that I am right now. That destroyed my hair. Like I to this day regret doing it, but then I kind of don't because then I never made this channel. But yeah, that was horrible. So like all the pictures that I'm showing you is proof that my hair is damaged and I'm just about to take the right necessary step to get back to that level. So. <sighs> This is real life. Like, I'm actually about to cut my hair here at home. And, like, my hair is two weeks old, y'all. Like, my hair is dirty. Like, I still have some sort of curl in it from when I won curled it for graduation last week. So, yeah, this is real life. Your girl is about to cut off her hair. Um, It's just hair. And the reason I love cutting my hair is because I feel like it's dead weight. Like, this is a new beginning. There's just so much you can do. And um, I'm just excited to see my curl pattern. I want my curl pattern ready. I'm ready to be wash and go, stepped out the shower, wash and go ready, okay? So yeah, so that's basically it. Stay tuned for me doing this little um, tutorial of me cutting my hair. And um, yeah, so I'll see you in like the next part of the video. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh, I can't believe like I'm actually about to do this. Like when my mom comes home, she's probably gonna cuss me out, but I mean I'm 18, so like who cares? It's just hair and it's gonna grow back. Like this is proof that my hair is gonna grow back. It's just hair. So <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna do it.